seems like you guys were chasing all night after that first first goal, the first minute. There. Yeah, it was. Um, we were, you know, it was, it was one nothing, then it was two nothing, and at that point you're chasing. It was a typical Pittsburgh game, you know, they they muck it up pretty good. Um, that's just the way they play. There, we knew that going in. We tried to talk about it and get after that this morning about the type of game that it was going to be. Sometimes you play a, a couple teams like we've been playing. They're wide open and just kind of moves freely up and down the ice. And then there's other games where you know, there's not an inch to be had out there, and you got to fight for that inch. And um, we knew that was the type of game it was. So when we went down two nothing, that made it more difficult inside of the way that they played the game. And then you, 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 you looked like you get a power play goal there. Um, what was the what was the call like? Was there interference in the goalie or on Mika's one that didn't count? Well, they called it off, so they said no. Um, I didn't challenge it. Um, I thought that um, Kreitz was doing a great job in front, but his feet were in the paint and got tangled up at his pad. Um, I think being in the paint was, was the determining factor for me. Peter, Jacob was just pretty hard on himself in the room. I mean, these last couple of games, I mean, they've been on ice, I know, for a lot of goals, but, but what are you seeing? And obviously, I know that turnover on the first one kind of stood out. Yeah, I mean, that's that's tough. It's, it's you know, to, to start the game. It, it, it happened, and we got to overcome that. You know, we didn't score a goal until deep into the game. We got to be better than that at generating, even though it was mucked up out there. Like I said, there wasn't a lot of room. Um, listen, if somebody somebody comes back from injuries, it takes a minute. It's happened to just about every player, and you know, we, I've used other players recently in conversations with you guys to talk about that when they come back, it just takes a minute to get up to speed, to get going the way the game's being played, to get back to being yourself and feeling yourself out there. And so I, I think that it, um, there's always a process for all of the players. And so um, it's, you know, that for him to say that is, you know, taking, taking responsibility for a player for, for a game. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that when it comes time for the playoffs and we need Warriors on the ice that he'll be there in full force a lot of there have been a lot of games this year where you've maybe struggled to create offense And you've double shifted Artemi you moved him up. Yeah, and I'm, I'm wondering why you didn't do that tonight. I did I did well, I play really late, right? Yeah, so um, the way, we, the way that we were playing the game, I still think that we had defensively, we were doing some good things. Um, I had moved, uh, at times, I had moved Artemi and Laugh up with Mika and Krides, and I double shifted into that spot. I actually think that that line's been pretty good for the last couple games. They were good in, um, they were good in Arizona, and then I thought that they were doing a good job tonight. They played a lot of shifts against Crosby's line. I thought they were playing pretty good. and so. As the third period, we made that decision. It's not something I do in the first period. I let the game go through and see if guys catch their stride. But um, you know, both Laugh and Artemi did did do double shift in with Wenberg and Capo, and I think they might have been out there for one of the goals. Yeah. As far as matching up with the Crosby line, was there a shift to use Mika more against them as the game went on? Yeah, I mean, it's just again, it, it's, a, it's he's a he's a top player and he's tough to stop. I thought Mika's line was doing a pretty good job against them um, in a head-to-head -head matchup, which is, you know, where we'll be oftentimes, you know, through the rest of the season in the playoffs.